Hi everyone, welcome to the New York Times Hard Sudoku. This is Sunday, January 14th, 2024. Okay, now, those two fives are going to force a five on one of these two. That's the only repeated digit I get in the top three rows. Uh, the middle three rows, those two fours are going to force a four on one of those, except not here. Uh, those set that. These two sevens, if I can select them, we're going to place a seven on one of these two, but that's given, so that's a digit. Um, the bottom three rows is where I'm going to have a lot of luck, maybe. Uh, these twos are going to force a two actually right here. <laughs> that's the only place left in row eight for it. It's also in box seven. Uh, two ones. We're going to force a one in one of those two corner spots in box seven. Okay, eight, one, two. No. If I pretend one and two aren't there, I have eight, four, nine, three, seven, six. I think I'm done. Okay, what about my columns? I've got seven, which I just placed, two, which I just placed. No, I didn't actually place a 2 in column 2, but this 2. Wait a minute. Yeah, that 2 is not correct. But that's a different region. I can't claim that these 2s force a 2 there. That's bad logic. This 2 doesn't tell me anything about where 2 goes in column 2 or column 1, and without one of those, I can't deduce the other one. So I've got five, one, six, four, nine, two. I'm done there. The middle columns. Okay, I've got an eight that I can put in one of two places. These two ones are going to force one of those two to be a one. Except they can't go here, so it must go there. Okay, if I get rid of 1 and 8, pretend those don't exist in the middle columns, I have 5, 7, 4, 2, 6, and I'm done. Okay, the, right, the rightmost columns, I can place a 3 in one of three places. Uh, these 4s are going to place a 4 in one of those two, but that's out, so this is a 4. These two fours in turn are going to mean one of these two is a four, but this is out, so that's a four. And now one of these two, but not here, so that one is a four. And my luck is going to run out because I have two places for a four in row one. And row one and row five form an X-wing on fours. Because they're either going to be a diagonal like this, or they're a diagonal like that. Now, anyway, where, where were we? We were still looking at the rightmost three columns when I did all the things on fours. Uh, those threes... Oh. Three's already determined. a lot of nice singles out of here. I should be able to do a lot of work in the bottom third of the grid now. Uh, in box 8, I only need odd digits. Because I have all the evens placed. So I only need 3, 5, 7, and 9. This one happens to see 3, 7, and 9. That must be a 5 by even odd logic. Okay, this can't be 7, so this is 3 or 9. Oh, well, this sees 3 and 9, that is 7. Okay, and the other one of 3, 9 is right here. Okay, that means these two are a pair. 
Uh, they are three and six. Well, wait, no. They're six and eight. And that's all I'm going to get. But row eight is done. As is box eight, and I have a lot in box nine. Hmm. One, two, three, four, six, eight. I need five, seven, and nine. This sees seven, so this is five or nine. Those two are five, seven, and nine, and now box nine is complete. Okay, what else has a lot of digits? Column 6 and 9, but we'll worry about 6 first. 1, 4, 7, uh, 1, 4, 5, 7, 8. I need 2, 3, 6, and 9. I only get rid of 6 from that. That doesn't help much. Oh, 5, 7, 9. That's a triple. Not that that does me any good, but I'll mark that in box 9. Okay, in column 9, I've got 1, 3, 4, 6. I need 2, 5, 7, 8, 9. That sees 8. That sees 5. Both of those see 7 in the box. And that was not helpful. Okay, what about the rest of row 9? I've got 1, 2, 4, 6, 7. I need 3, 5, 8, and 9, and neither of these can be 9. This one also isn't 5. Okay, I've got 8 one of these two, but that's a tell us something we don't know uh, situation. Let's see, these are not 2, 4, 7, or 9. Okay, that one sees... Oh, actually, none of these are 8, either. Uh, that's not 5, that's not 1, that's not 6. I don't think I have a hidden quad. That was not helpful. Okay, what about column four? One, two, four, and seven are spoken for. Three, five, six, eight, nine. Well, those two don't see a thing. Okay, these two both see five and eight. That one also sees a three. Ah, there we go. Okay. That's what I need to see. Three, six, nine. That's a triple. So these must be five and eight, because neither of them can be three, six, or nine. This five, eight, essentially, is going to give me f five digits. In box number five, yeah. One, four, five, seven, eight. I need two, three, six, and nine for this cell and these cells. Well, none of these are six. That one is. These are two, three, nine. That one, therefore by elimination, must be seven. This is not six. That's another triple. I'll go ahead and mark it. The only thing I've done is put six in one of those two and two in one of these two. Hmm. 
Let's see, what else can I get rid of? This seven means that's not seven. And that's not seven. I've got two, three, four, seven. In column eight, I need one, five, six, eight, nine to fill out the rest. That sees everything. That can't be one or six. That can't be five or six. And okay, that one can't be six or one or five. Okay, these two are not three, four, or six. This one sees one and five. That one sees an eight. Okay, this is not four, not one, four, or seven. Or six. One sees just four and seven because it sees four twice. This sees four and seven and one and six. Okay. Well, interesting. Darn it. Okay, I've got six and one of those two. Because of that pesky three there, I almost had a hidden one three six triple, but I don't think I'm there yet. Let's see, one four six seven says I need two three five eight nine to fill out row six. Now that's he's five. That's he's nine. Okay, I've got one, five, and six in row one. Uh, that's not two or seven. That's not nine. That's not four or seven. Let's see, four, five, seven in column one. That's three or eight. That's one or six. Oh, I got three fourths of a two, three, eight, nine quad, but I don't have anything else to go with it. Are there any other heavily restricted cells? There may not be. Okay, these are not four, five, or seven. That one sees one and nine. This one sees two and six. Okay, those two are not three, four, or eight. Okay, th this sees two, six, and seven by column, five by box. That sees five and nine, and one. I do not like these offset pairs. One is in one of those two, in box three, and that's all I get. Okay, this one 
isn't a lot of things. One, six, or seven by box, four by column, two or by row, two by column. These two cells, which are the last two in the grid, are not one, two, six, or seven. That's anything that's not nine. All right, are there any hidden digits in here? Four and seven must appear in two of these three. That's all I get. Uh, one? I can't do anything with it. That's, uh... See, that's a triple. Uh, let's see, six is in one of these two. Sure sounds like this cell must be one or six and therefore not three, but that's not gonna help me. That does not, unfortunately, help me place a three. Now, seven's in one of those two. But that one, like the last mark, is a tell us something we don't know type of a situation. I got three in too many places, eight in too many places. Looking at box seven. Okay, there has to be some hidden dribble or something I'm missing. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, this cell can't be six because of that. This cell could be six, but this one definitely isn't. That one definitely isn't. And these aren't because of a given six. So six is in one of these two spots, here or here. Those are the only two places in row three. The only two places in the column are here and here. Well, I think this is the only one that satisfies both of them. I'm gonna argue that that cell here is a six. Therefore, nine, three, and we're going to go from there and see what that does. Okay, this cell was the one I said 
We're suspicious. This thing in red, which I have nothing else in. Okay, so if that's correct, now this is not six. Nine makes that one. This now sees one oh, and three, so that's a five. This now sees three and five. That makes this one six. That can't be six or three, so that's a one. This can't be five. So 3, 8, looking at this cell, which is a 9, that's a 5. These are not 5. Okay, this turns out to a 7, 9. 9 is going to make those a 2, 3. Let's see, these 8s, I can get rid of it. Let's see. Five means none of these are five. Oh, this can't be five or one. I really hope that doesn't turn into a problem. It might. That's not nine. That's not nine. Well, the only place for five is here. 502 must be there. That's a 1. There's nothing left for it. This isn't 1, and therefore that is. Those aren't 5. This is left as a 289. Make that orange or something. Okay, what else can I clean up here? Okay, this is not six. Two, seven, looking at this, which can't be two. It can't be one or nine by row. That's left to be a six. That's the only thing that can be. Let's see, one makes this not one. Those aren't five by placement. Okay, that's a three, four, eight, nine quad. Everything except that cell. Okay, I think, you know, if I hit the last thing I'm going to hit there, I believe, no, no, maybe not. Those can't be 6 by given. This isn't 6 by placement. That's not 6 by given. That's a 7, 9 pair. That is 6. So that's forced. 6, 8. That makes this 9. This is not 8 or 9. That's a 5. This is 6, as expected. I was going to go directly to that being a 6, but... I just found that out the hard way. Uh, this 9 makes this not 9. Neither is that. Oh, look, that's a 2, 7, 8. And that's a triple. I'll make that a darker shade. Just look back. I don't know. That, that doesn't work. That's the same color. I think that's like dark forest green or something. There we go. Now, this 2 8 is part of two different triples. Okay, this 7 doesn't do any good. Let's see, what else can I do though? 5 comes over here. This cannot be five, so eight, five. 
8 makes this not 8. That's not 8. That's not 9. Oh, we know that's not 9. That's not 5. Well, wait a minute. Okay. Where does 9 go in column 1? This can't be 9. This can't be 9 bad placement, so the... 9 must be in one of these two, and therefore 9 is not in either of those, so that's a 3, because it can't be 9. Okay, so this is not 3, and this is not 3. And neither is that a 3. And 3 says this isn't 3, and that one is. Uh, that three and that three rule out, so that one's a three. I've got all kind of two nines left, but I think everything else is resolved there. This three means these are not three. That three means those are not three. Wait a minute. Two, seven, nine, that's a triple, so this is an eight. Two that makes this seven. Seven comes down here. Nine. That two. That nine makes this seven. These are resolved to an eight, nine. Two comes over here. Nine. Two. So let's do anything with that. Oh. Eight, nine over here. That's a five. Two here is going to make that three, that two. Eight here makes that four. All right, well, seven makes this two. That makes That's the easier way to see that. Uh, this has to be nine, and that has to be eight. That's the only way that works. This is eight. Column three is done. That's four. Eight comes down here. Three, eight. Which comes up here, 9, 2. Column 1 needs a 3. Oh, look at that. I got a corner for it. Uh, that has to be 7. Uh, that's 9, that's 8. Whoa. <sighs> there was probably a more efficient way to solve this rather than filling out every possible candidate after I was done, but I'll take it. And thank you for joining me this afternoon.